I come here in my very special capacity that I was given by 2.5 million people of Kakamega County to ask the government of the Republic of Kenya to give me Rashid Mohammed so that I can escort Rashid Mohammed together with members of his family to the hospital. And if they want him on Monday, on Tuesday, we will definitely bring him back. Rashid is certainly not a flight risk because he serves at the pleasure of the President of the Republic of Kenya. I want to remind the Inspector General that under the Constitution of Kenya, the right to life is a constitutional right. And therefore, he must refuse to be directed by anybody to deny any Kenyan, leave alone Rashid Mohammed, an opportunity to enjoy the right to life. Personally, I was expecting that this weekend, if there was going to be anything about Kakamega, it would have been about the fertilizer scandal and not about Rashid Mohammed. So Kakamega has become a laughing stock in the whole country, running from the fertilizer scandal to the scandal of witchcraft to the scandal of extortion of money and so on, to a further scandal of the possibility that the governor of Kakamega might be holding some forces within the judicial criminal system captive. If he wasn't, this is the weekend Barasa should have been here explaining how Fertilizer worth 703 million shillings. Fake has found itself in the hands of unsuspecting farmers. That is not the case. I want to appeal to the police that under the constitution of Kenya, he is not expected to be directed by anybody. He cannot be directed by anybody when he's carrying out operational duties and therefore let him allow me to go with Rashid to the hospital his lawyers are here if they want a bond we are here even if it means I give them one of my bulls as a surety I will and so on and so forth this is not a laughing matter as the council has explained People have died in custody. The politics of South Africa changed when Dr. Steve Biko died in prison. So imagine a situation whereby Rashid dies, the politics of the Luya nation will change. And when I say the Luya nation, I'm, being a, I'm not being a tribalist. Like all of us who are here, we all have home. We come from a community of seven million people. And therefore, when I appeal on their behalf, and let the powers be, that be, listen to us. And if they cannot listen to the chief whip of the government, can they really listen to the wife of Rashid Mohammed? That is all that I have to say.